Whose place did he say to take? Take my place. What is your place, Elijah? I am the Jesus to this people. Take my place, Peter. Take my place, Paul. You looking for dead people in the past when a living man is in front of you and you can't see? No, I want you to think. You will never hear me talk like this again. But I want this tape everywhere. Take my place. What does that mean? You think it just means live in his house? You think it just means ride in a limousine? You think it just means be in Mos Mariam? Take my place means stand in that place where the ultimate aim of the world is the destruction of the life of the messenger when the messenger is no more here then the ultimate aim of white people is to deliver Farrakhan dead what did you hear the Jews saying in New York who do we want Farrakhan how do you want him dead this ain't no joke but let me tell you how many people want me dead I looked at Newsweek magazine. How many of you read Newsweek? It had Farrakhan, this thing. Well, most of us don't read them kind of paper, no way. <laughs> but over the last, since April of this year, white folk have been trying to position me in the media. You ain't heard my mouth. But white folk trying to position Farrakhan as though Farrakhan is now on his knees going to the Jews begging them for some damn dialogue and some of you my young brothers you hurt and no man not Farrakhan and some of these lousy hypocrites weak punks you want so bad to make me like the sissy that you are. But that ain't gonna happen, brother. I told a white man, damn it, you will never see my knees bow. Damn it, if you live 10,000 years, I ain't bowing to no damn cracker. And I ain't bowing to no silly Negroes either. I'm almost there. I just came back from Mexico. And while I was down in Mexico, in a quiet, reflective mood, it came to me why the white man is positioning me like this. I mean, I'm the last voice that black people have. I'm the brother, I don't care whether you're Christian, Muslim, whatever your religion is, Farrakhan is a man that you believe you can trust because I've been consistent. On behalf of black people, I have never wavered. So why are they positioning me like this? Because they are about to assassinate me. I don't want to frighten you because it ain't going to happen. I want you to listen to me very good now. This is the point I've been getting to all night. This is no game that we're playing. White folk play for keeps. For any black man that will open your eyes is an enemy to the ruling powers of this world. Do you understand that? Then it's the ultimate aim of the devil has been to kill the messengers of God if Elijah Muhammad said, take my place, 
that means sit in the seat of death. You want the honor, but you don't want to live like I live. They follow me everywhere I go. FBI out in front of my door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Watching my movements, listening to my phone conversations. <laughs> but I say on this tape, as they look at this in televisions across this nation, you would be wise to leave me alone. Yes. would be wise to leave me alone. They are planning my death even as I speak to you. <clears throat> but what they want is what they did to Malcolm and Martin. I want you to listen to this. Some of you that sit here with X's all over everything you don't really know what Malcolm stood for because they have positioned Malcolm in such a way where they can use Malcolm to lead you in a path that Malcolm himself would never have gone in. When Malcolm left the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, listen to Malcolm's words, my political philosophy is black nationalism. My economic philosophy is black nationalism. I am a Muslim. And Malcolm went into quote unquote orthodox Islam. As a Muslim, you have to accept the whole human family that believes in Islam, whether they are white, red, yellow, brown, or black. Now, when Malcolm accepted Islamic orthodoxy, notice the Caucasian will make you believe that Malcolm died as an integrationist. Come on now. They don't call Malcolm a revolutionary. They don't call Malcolm a nationalist. It is those who studied Malcolm that see Malcolm as a nationalist, but the white man has portrayed him as an integrationist who put Elijah Muhammad and his teaching down. Martin King in 1963 said, I have a dream. They didn't kill the man because of a dream. They killed him because in 68, he wasn't the same man that he was in 63. He was attacking the government's policy in prosecuting an unjust war in Vietnam. And because he went against what the government felt he should be about, they felt as a Negro leader, he should concern himself with Negro business, trying to integrate a lunch counter, a toilet, but don't meddle in government affairs. And when Martin Luther King began to meddle in the government's policy in prosecuting a war, they said it was time. And he's dead. And now you don't know where Martin was. Every January 16th is the dreamer, the dreamer. And all of you say, I have a dream, the dreamer. And what did he dream? It stuck him right there. And little black boys and little white girls with one day hold hands together. Shit. Yeah, is that what is that? Is that where it's at now? Them little black hands are yours. Can't hold your black brother's hands but you gonna go hold some cracker's hands before you hold each other's hand? You gonna walk with your enemy before you learn to walk with one another? How sick can you be? Now, 
Farrakhan reaching out to mainstream white America. It's true, I am. But for what purpose? Moses had to reach for Pharaoh. Pharaoh didn't come to Moses. Moses went to Pharaoh. But he had a message. At some point, I got to deal with white people, brother. But I ain't going to deal with them for no chicken and a biscuit at the back door. We got a deal for the liberation of 30 to 40 million people. And you're not going to trust no Uncle Tom nigger at that table. I'm not selling you out for no grits. And I'm not selling you out for no white woman. Elijah Muhammad taught me what the price was. And I'm on the road. I ain't deviated. So now that they've seasoned and put the word out, Farrakhan has changed. Then the hypocrites on the inside. You know, I think the minister deviating from the way of the apostle. Just a secret counsel and a little whisper. Just remember what he said when he first got started. That if he deviated, he gave the FOI the right to take his life. Murder on the inside. Because white folk don't want to kill me themselves. Because if they kill me themselves, it'll be revolution. I am bigger now than Malcolm ever was when Malcolm was alive. He did not have the following that I have. He did not have the influence. Malcolm got influence in death that I got in life. I want you to listen good now. The plot is on, brother. Why do you think they put the movie out? This is all part of the plan. They want you to fall in love with Malcolm, which is all right. But they want you to hate Elijah, which is all wrong. Because they want you to believe that Elijah killed Malcolm or the black Muslims killed him. So that you in love with Malcolm would hate Elijah. And therefore, since Elijah's not here, you got to hate the man that represents him. And who is that? Your last chance, black brother. You ain't got another one nowhere in sight. You don't have another one, brother. And they want you to get rid of me, thinking you're doing God a favor.